Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is me, Daily Carrington. And today is a designer on my attire. You broke boys over there looking retired. I'm joking. This is my designer handbag tour, which was actually highly requested on TikTok. And I was like, do I even have enough bags to do this? But I've got at least five designer bags, and that's quite a lot for just being 20 years young. So I was like, why not? So before we get into it, I think we should do an honorary mention of my first ever designer bag, which I bought myself at the young age of like 12. And that is actually no, I had a designer bag before though, that was a pause boutique bag because if you do not have a pause boutique bag, you cannot roll. You are a punky fish, you could not have rolled. Like, sorry, like that was the bag of like 2014. I don't really know the years back in the days, like everything was one big year to me, but that was a bag when I was like um 11 I needed a pool boutique and a punky fish but the first other bag that I still have till today that I bought myself was this mashup Ted Baker bag which lives on top of my cupboard and I had a thing and I still do have a thing where I don't take the tags off so my first ever designer still has the tag on it for where I bought it for £40 in Ted Baker in Blue Water it has nothing in it and I used to rock this bag <laughs> and like this this bag was my whole entire life. Like, this bag and my punky fish. Like, she was great. Like, she did what she had to do. And I love this. And also, this honorary mention for my Palm Angel bag, which is no longer in my collection anymore, as I went on the train in 2020 with my boyfriend, and the I sat near the, the like, window, and it um, accidentally ruined it. But this was a good bag. I got this in 2019 for Christmas for my mama. But, oh, it's got something in it. It's got a receipt for Khadija. I don't know what the heck this is like. It's basically, it's basically hold on, let it focus. Yeah, it's basically all gone. Don't know what the heck that is. This is a recent old baby, to be fair, but just because she's unfortunately ruined, I don't wear her anymore. And this bag was like 190 at the time. But we're gonna get on to my current collection, which is still alive and well, and the collection that I wear today, and you will see me wearing, posting with, and they are my babies. So I will start with my first Louis. <laughs> so this is a Louis Vuitton. Um, maybe I should have researched the name prior to this video, but I don't flipping well know what it is. But um, this is my, my first Louis. <laughs> it is very small. No, it's a decent size actually. It can fit my phone in it and a few other bits and pieces. It is quite a good bag, but the only thing is that you have to hold bags. I don't mind, but like after a while doing this and this gets really like monotonous, especially if you're out and it's like you're tired, you wanna go home, you have to like clutch a bag or like, uh, so clutches aren't always my favorite, but Louis Vuitton is always a good, a good one, always a good one. And my mum and my two older sisters, they've all got the Louis Vuitton toiletry bag the other one the classic one out in third picture there that everyone and their mother literally my mother has on my 18th birthday my mum got me this i was so shocked to see to see that i got a loo and i thought i got the toiletry one but it was this and i was like i'm so glad because it's the unique like um i don't often see people with this one but i'll show you what's inside my first Louis and okay not much so it currently looks like this at the moment i've got a hair clip um handy i've got an eyelash brush which has got like bits of crap on it like carrots come on i've also got uh some hand cream from nivea and then i've got receipts i love looking at my past receipts because it reminds me of my life a couple of days ago a couple of weeks ago or whatever so this is from elevon don't know what the heck that is 
of 19 pounds and 69 pence and i when was this 6th of april i don't know what the heck i bought there i could probably check on my monzo but that's long snappy snaps and then this is just like the certificate card that one of the certificate cards that comes in the um bag and if it's gonna focus it just says Louis Vuitton on both sides. I use this bag quite a lot and I love this bag because I feel like I feel like even if I'm wearing something colourful, you can always bring a Louis and you still look good. Louis Vuitton just has that class to it. I feel like it's it's got that vibe that it's like, mm, I've got a Louis on, like, don't even talk to me. Hey? Don't talk to me. Fast forward a whole year later, I was then gifted by my mother again for my second designer bag and my first Prada bag. So this is actually in my 2021, what I got for my birthday, and it is a pink Prada bag, the nylon re-edition of 2005. Yeah, re-edition in Prada, no, 2000 even. Clearly I know nothing about my eggs. So this, I love this Prada bag, like, pink bag my favorite color is pink pink everything pink 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 it can be worn in a dressy sense of like i'm wearing a dress and some heels i'm going out to like stk or it can be worn in like shorts and a like bralette i'm going to the beach like it's very versatile this bag and also because you can just pop it over your shoulder it makes it far more easier than the louis where you have to hold that for the whole night the prada on your shoulder i don't give a toss and it's like cute like when you're walking you can swing it like ah, i'm so freaking cute which was a gift for my 19th birthday if i didn't say that already so the prada bag also fits a decent amount and i just also want to say this now before i look like a big show off sport brat that i am very grateful and blessed for my designer bags it is a luxury of course and i'm just very grateful that my people people in my life have bought me these really lovely gifts and i appreciate it ever so much what's in the bag so i first of all got a nissi beach resort parking fee so when i went to inapa with chantelle and elizabeth we paid to park our quad bikes in the beach nissi beach oh i've got two of them i should have three because i paid for all of ours i think no i held all of our um receipts in this bag because i still haven't taken it out i like keeping like little antidotes of like my past life in my bag like i said it reminds me of a time and i just like feeling nostalgic nostalgia is my favorite feeling the only downside i would say to the prada is that it has no pockets in the side neither does the uh palm angels but the, the ted baker and the louis vuitton both do which is very handy handy to put like petty change and whatever in it and also in my prada bag is lip liner a nail file lip liner and lip liner fun fact every time i go to the hair shop i buy a new lip liner so these are like all the same colors of chocolate and i'll keep rebuying it because i lose them so i have to buy like a hundred i often change it um change what bag i'm wearing for the day and i always keep those two i have a parking receipts in it so don't be thinking this is staged like i've had those receipts in this bag since august and every time i see it it makes me smile and think of like times in the beach on the quad with my girls so i really like that a little antidote there my second bag which i also got on my 19th birthday is my mini 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 bambino my black jack one thing i would say that it is super cute and it looks real good on like if you are wearing it like this i am wearing pajama shorts okay filming my house didn't want to put trousers on, wearing shorts, okay? So let me actually show you this. It's super cute. Like, it just looks real cute, real sleek. And Jacquemus bags are the in bag, I would say, at the moment. And also, recently, Capone bags, which I haven't got my hands onto yet. Hopefully, I'll buy myself the Capone bag as a gift because I haven't actually bought myself a designer bag, which is crazy as I have five. Once again, I'm just really grateful to everyone in my life who has bought me these gifts this jackman's bag is real cute real small and you actually can't fit much in there i can fit my bank card car keys 
a packet of gum and that's it if i want to fit my phone no chance like the other the prada and the louis vuitton bag obviously you can fit more in there but this is not very practical for when you're going out and you need to put stuff away there's currently nothing in my Jacqueline's bag at the moment and there are no pockets or anything because it is quite small. It's the El Chiquito. I have worn it once or twice with the strap off but I kind of look stupid when you don't have the strap on the bag. I wouldn't mind like holding it but like sometimes, sometimes holding little bags looks kind of dumb. Like I'm a five foot nine gal. Why am I going outside? Like that so i prefer wearing this bag as a crossbody because i think it looks more sleek and it looks more expensive that way fast forward again to 2022 for my 20th birthday this is my favorite bag at the moment because it's so handy and i went to milan two days ago oh look at me i went to milan but i went to milan two days ago and this bag proved to be so useful than any other my any other any of my other bags because I could literally just throw the bag on, like so like that, and then she's just sitting there and she minds her own business. And I've also worn her without the strap and like, as a little like handbag, <laughs> and she's great. The only downside I would say of this Jacqueline's bag is that it is suede, so it does get this colouring, which is annoying, but you probably can get it cleaned for like £100. I don't know if I'm going to do that, right, so yet, if I... Do, which touch wood I don't get any uh, like stuff on it I would get clean but that's like the same thing with the Prada it's nylon so if you get oil on this bag you're gonna see it and if you get oil on this suede you're gonna see it but yeah so I went to Milan and I bought this Jacqueline's bag because I could also wear it when it was time for like dressing up and also wear it for practical use and in my Jacqueline's bag I haven't cleared up my bag um, but I've got a lot in there, so I'll go through with what I am able to even keep. Also, I did explain that my nail is broken. I'm supposed to be getting it fixed. Just the girl, just the girl, okay? Leave me alone. So, in the back, first of all, I've got the picture. Me and my boyfriend, we got pictures taken in Milan. That you would have seen in my Milan vlogs, which are super cute. Super, super, super cute. We had to pay for our luggage on the way back, which was dumb because on the way there we didn't have to. And so that was uh, the payment receipt, which I don't know why the payment receipt looks like a boarding pass, but whatever, Ryanair Milan, I hate you. Uh, my passport. And again, this bag was so handy because the whole trip I had me and my boyfriend's passport securely in my bag with me at all times, making sure that I knew exactly where our passport was because I don't know, I feel like... I like having my passport on me because in case anything happens, I can't leave the country, I get stuck. <laughs> like, if anything happens, I would rather my passport be on me, that like if I have to flee, I can flee with my business. Do you know what I mean? Like, forget everything else at the hotel, like, forget you. Like, at least I've got my, my, my red book, I can leave. So, my passport and what else is in there? Some tissue, uh, more tissue. We've got gum with only one left in there, but you know, gum is always handy. Uh, this charger that I bought in Milan, which they're kind of rubbish, but I still may keep anyway. Just hand gel in there. I really like this stuff, hand gel. I bought it in Boots in Blue Water last week, and I really like the smell of it. Five pound note. What is this? Vaseline, Vaseline, girl, Vaseline. A uh, lip gloss from Ken Beauty. Uh, a comb. Always handy to have one of those bad boys. A comb. Which is actually my boyfriend's comb. It's mine now. <laughs> a lid for a lip liner, which I might have lost because why don't I have the lip liner? Another eyelash brush. A ring. Uh, this is a long, a long, a long thing and then i've got like some change in the bottom of the bag and this jacqueline's bag does unlike the other one it does have a pocket inside where it just has at the moment the authentication just saying that it is a real jacqueline's bag and like i said i like to keep the tags on my bag so i leave that in there then it's got a pocket on the back 
which again the other one doesn't which is super handy and then onto my final designer bag this is my edgy oh my god i'm so trendy i am so cool bag this is my tell easy tell easy <laughs> So I've worn this bag a few times and I think the colour is Colbat. Um I think so. But I prefer the colour a midnight blue. <laughs> yeah. This Telfar was from my great friend Elizabeth for my 20th birthday and my sister um Ashley, she said that you should hang your tail foot up and put like deodorant in it because that way it will help with the straps being straightened out. My straps are currently a little bit bent because I had them on my shelf like this because um, I didn't want to keep it hung up. I like my bags on show because I'm a bit extra. Mm. Tail foot, I it's my first obviously first tail far and I really like it like it's real cute but the only thing is that when you want to hold it like you've got all this excess strap but it is a really good bag for like off like across body I quite like cross bodies because you have the the ability to wear it as a handbag although with this bag if you do wear it as a handbag you still have to have the other, the other straps with the tail foot i mean with both jackamuses you have the ability and i guess the luxury to take your straps off but i suppose that having the straps is a staple piece for tail foot. this is what the tail foot looks like on super cute i always wear my bags to the right side probably because i'm right-handed i don't know it's just something that i like to do so what's in my tail feezy is not much so obviously the sign the tail fire does not have uh pockets in it like the jacquemus and the louis um i've got my um what do you call this tag on this and then i've also got those little this i don't know what this is but it came with the bag um haven't taken it out so thank you for watching and like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this as this was highly recommended from my TikTok gals. And if I keep touching my hair, it's because I can't see, like I said, no glasses. And I do hope my hair is not messy. But that is my designer bag, my designer handbag tour or collection. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.